Portugal now very much wants out. But I'm fairly sure I need to take the fort before I can take this land. And Rio Grande do Sul is the limit of where I want to get to. That's all Portuguese Brazil. And I think I'm going to settle with just the one colony. We're just going to take Brazil and we're done. We'll invest heavily in it. We'll make Brazil the best colony there's ever been. But I kind of want the other New World nations to actually be able to do stuff in the New World. And maybe we'll have some New Year World Wars and stuff like that. It'll be fun. Right. You go and deal with them. Brittany's on low. And there goes Brittany. So now it is just Portugal. There goes Rio de Janeiro. I'll take the unrest. And you would accept the loss of the entirety of Brazil. That is a lot of aggressive expansion. But it's a lot of expansion. There's a lot of AE over multiple areas. Which most people probably don't care so much about. That'll do me. Portugal will cede Cabo Verde to Mali. Portuguese Brazil will cede Rio de Janeiro, Santo Amaro, Sao Tome, Sao Vicente, Espirito Santo, Rio Grande do Sul. Curitiba, Puerto Seguro, Bahia, uh, Borbema, Alagoas, Pambu, Sergipe, Pamambuco, Paribia, Rio Grande, Sierra, Crato, Elheus, Parniba, Arrhenius, Santa Catarina, Maranhao, Campinas, Sao Jao, Ridai, Via Rica, Tumali. And they'll pay me money. And we got printing press in Cape Verde. Really? Well, that's useful. Because that's now going to spread over here. And we succeeded in the Comombe's ambition, which gives me another colonist. And 800 ducats, which will definitely pay off paying some of those uh, debts. While Mansa Ko Mumdi and his fleet's existence remains a mystery, the discovery of South America is a result of the fascination his stories caused for us. As a final nod to his legend, we should pursue his ambition and colonize this continent for the glory of Mali. Done. And then with that, we can go ahead and place that colonist. And I'm going to put you in the Gold Coast because I really want the Gold Coast to hurry the hell up. Oh, right. We can also place one here because we want that to hurry the hell up too. Cool. Right, next thing we need to do is start coring Brazil. And honestly, I think I'm going to do this by whatever's cheapest. One, two, three, four, five. Because we only need five, then it becomes a colonial nation, and then it uh, grabs everything else. And will core it themselves. We will need to leave an army over here to deal with rebels, though. Colonialism against Portuguese Brazil? Oh, this bit. <laughs> I was going to say, what's left? There is no Portuguese Brazil. I just took it. Oh, that's true. What religion is this going to be? Hmm. Probably not my religion. <laughs> uh... I think that's mostly because of the war exhaustion. But there is something we can do to help relieve the pressure of all of the separatists. I 
Ah yes, pay the loans, thank you. Good point. And I think I may... Oh no, I can't. Bugger. I'm gonna need to reduce the amount I'm paying the army. Down to about there, I would say. A talented judge. Acquiring an education in theology and law is often a long process and involving studying classical works of law under the tutelage of the sheikhs and various madrasas. So, Futsjilon, or a level 3, 50% cheaper, unrest guy. He's 58. He's not going to be around for too much longer. So we're going to go ahead and get a backup. And your job is going to be rebel suppression in all of this. Best of luck with that. South. Admin, I'm going to keep it for now. Oh, yeah, that's true. Whoa! Oh, right, because I don't have a huge amount of morale. I think we may still lose that fight, though. Yep. Okay, so having such minimal maintenance is not going to help us. And unfortunately, the payments are about to go up. I probably shouldn't have paid off all of the loans. I think I was a little bit too hasty on that. Although we've killed enough rebels that they're not actually succeeding in sieging anything anymore. And this also means that you can get back to work in securing this. Then you can get to work. Ah, oh, the hajj is over. That was a long hajj. That lasted the entirety of the war against Portugal. The second to last ritual is to revisit the Masjid Al Haram Mosque in Mecca to walk around the Kaaba once more. It's called the Tawaf Il Ifada, which symbolizes being in a hurry to respond to God and show his love for Him. Before leaving Mecca, pilgrims perform a farewell Tawaf called the Tawaf Al Wida. Some pilgrims, including the ruler of Mali, travel to the city of Medina and the Al Masjid Al Nabawi, which contains the Prophet Muhammad's tomb. You are going to be responsible for that side, and then you, when you beat those guys, will be responsible for the east. Ah, interesting. That's how that works. Five. Rare Grande do Sol. <laughs> I need a lot more missionary strength for this. Which is that side. So you know what we're going to do? We are going to debase our currency. We are then going to use legalism to remove that stain upon our honor. And then I think we're going to start moving down towards mysticism so that we can get that missionary strength. And we'll just start working on you just so we can get the progress locked in. Although we will have rebel uprisings because of that. You still haven't recovered. Come on, dude. Oh, minions are coming to fight them. Okay, cool. Right, Noop. How are you about vassalizing? Okay, now we're a lot closer. A lot closer. 
And relations could be, frankly, improved quite a lot more. Trust is already at 100. I have four colonies. I did not realise I had so many. That's why I'm losing so much money. Alright, which is the smallest of you? There we go, now we're actually making money. We'll go ahead with the admin. Sufi syncreticism, here we go. Towards mysticism, please. Uh, yes, we can repay a loan. Theologian died. Bring in the backup. Although you're a missionary strength guy. Full price though. I want to pay full price. Right now, and this feels really weird to say, but I do not have the money for that. Do you have to ban the colonies when they just go to the colonial nation when it forms? Well, one, I do want to have to pay for it. And two, they would be Portuguese Catholic. I would need to put a colonist there. I mean, you only need the colonists there for like, um... Actually, no, they changed that. I think it needs to be there for longer. But I'm okay just cancelling it. It's fine. And I should probably raise another three regiments of infantry to go and deal with that uprising. We'll just steal them from this unit for now. Portuguese Brazil is going to rise up soon. We're getting the rain fertility events in South America, are we? I didn't even notice. I guess because it's not a colonial nation. Okay, you can go autonomous rebel suppression in all of this area. And that should be that sorted. Boom. And this is going to be, yeah, the entirety of Brazil pretty much. Not a huge amount I can do about that. The Tupi people request Sunni conversion. Welcome to the faith. We've always made it our policy to propagate trade between either good people and the strange people of the new world. As of late, however, the Tupi traders have come to us asking for troops and medical supplies. Sorry, not for food and medical supplies, but for symbols and tools of worship for the Sunni faith. And many are even requesting to be ordained as priests so they may spread the faith amongst their entire tribe. Heck yeah, done. Oh, you're right next door. Well, okay then. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. Let's make sure we're actually going to be capable of fighting this. Oh, we lost the fort in Rio de Janeiro because it's not the capital anymore. Try. We've caught them up a little bit in terms of tech, but this is still going to be Portuguese quality. We have a minus one because of the jungle. Morale's the same now, 3.4 each, and we still have the discipline advantage. There we go. We're winning, we're winning, we're winning, we're winning, we're winning, we won! In fact... 
Get up here. Do the same up in the north, because now the south is placated. Where's Rio Grande or Sul? Oh, it's that bit. So this bit is still fetishist, apparently. And you are currently protecting trade, but you really need to be advancement effort. So that we can start getting that printing press. No edict. No edict. No edict. No edict. And no edict. That should save us a little bit of cash. Ooh, that's a good idea. Yes. I, no, because it's not core territory. I can't. You can't do edicts unless it's core. It's a very good idea, though, putting the missionary strength edict in the colonies. Unfortunate side effect of the colonizers not being as strong as you won't be able to steal as much money from the Far East and the Ivory Coast. True, unless I start doing that colonization myself. Animist zealots are the guys in the south. I'll need to stay on top of them. Nah, we're just going to need to wait until we can get more mysticism. It's fine. We'll get it eventually. Oh, good point. Yes, I do. I need to say Kakano. Thank you. I was going to start improving relations with these guys anyway. Yeah, very good point. Thank you, Patty K. I do indeed have a, a state mission to take Kano. Statesman's died. Diplotech can go up, please do. And now we're on printing press already. <laughs> There's only like th three technologies under colonialism. And we need a Diplo person, which is going to be, I think, Diplo rep. I don't really care about having Diplo particularly high level. Oh, we fought that war with Craven as well. So our morale was even worse than it could have been. Right, because Bakari Kita is not of age yet, but he's going to be a pretty darn good ruler when he is. Liberty, Desire and Subjects. Cool. Not that that's really a problem just yet. Six points away. Once we have these colonies done, I'm hoping that that's going to be close enough to have them convert over to our side. Right, you... Oh, you already are. So those British Brazilians... Yeah, they are English. Anglican. Interesting. Karl I of Saxony is the Emperor, not Austria. And Poland is... Oh, is this the League War? This is definitely the League War. Yep. <laughs> that is a beastly Lithuania. Lithuania, the Ottomans, France, Helra, formerly known as Denmark. Wow. Interesting. I wonder if... Oh, that looks like a personal union which they integrated. That is a really juicy looking hell. Imagine... Oh my gosh, imagine how much development they would have if that turned into the Netherlands. The Netherlands and Denmark? That's like the easiest to develop territory in the north. 
See you, Giko. Is the clone of Marley still active? No. Oh, that would be amazing. Ah, now we're making money again. Probably as our provinces are starting to recover. You are indeed doing your thing. We can be converted. Except not really. How long until Cap Verde is done? 65%. So, is there anything else we could be doing to you to get you to vassalize? I don't think so. Pariba rose up, but you rose up on top of my defending forces. So the next problem you're going to need to contend with... Those Portuguese separatists. Oh, that's Cap Verde. Um, hopefully, if we can call that before that triggers, that would be nice. Otherwise, you probably just need to head down here to the south. And then your job there is pretty much done. Uh, you guys can get back to protecting trade in the Ivory Coast. You need another two light ships. Fine, I think I can probably arrange that. These things are ancient anyway. And the new forts are built, so we have that extra layer of defense, and this should also mean that we, nope, fully maintained forts is still below the maximum because of all of our American territory. As soon as that becomes colonial nations, we should be at 100%. Cap Verde may actually cause a problem. That would be particularly annoying. How many is it going to be? 8,000. Hmm. Leave them in Mario. I don't need them. Noop insulted us. Ocean, actually. Being able to sail around here would be pretty awesome. Twelve K going to be enough against Portugal? Probably not. Truce of Savoy has ended. Oh dear. Actually, you know what? It would have probably been pretty smart for us to have cancelled the truce. Uh, yeah, forced Portugal and. Savoy to cancel their alliance. Alright, I think I'm going to go ahead and provoke the Animist Zealots if I can. Uh, 
All right, so you're dealt with over there. Let's send you back to the north. Are you still ticking up? You are. Good. So they will definitely trigger. I don't need to provoke it, so I don't need to deal with the extra numbers. Ah, we are still positive legalism. At least our two colonies are going to finish soon. Five loans. Actually slightly better than I thought it was. I was expecting it to be like ten. Alright, speed four. Explore the Western Indian Ocean if you would be so kind. Core province gained. Now, does that mean that this rebellion is still going to trigger? Yes. Morario is done. Good. Then we're definitely going to go for you next. Are we? No, we're going to go for this next, so I can get the connection so they don't try to cut me off there. I'd be less annoyed about being cut off up here. Hardy seamen gain naval tradition. Right, you head down there, what's this? Regency for Bakari ends in 26th of April 1589, so we have less than a year until that becomes the case. Cap Verde can now go and convert. Uh, no, I don't want to state that, because that is going to be a colony. Ah! That's now going to be the capital. Because it's our first core in this region. <laughs> that's really frustrating, actually. At least I think that's the way it works. But hey, at least you're Mali and Sunni. Gold Coast is done. Excellent. So with my second colonist, I would like to take Calabar. Then that's going to be all of the centers of trade in the Ivory Coast, with the exception of the ones that Congo has. What tech is Congo? Miltech 12, you're still a... Oh no, you're equal, equal to me. Uh, do I want to go up in admin? It'll cost me, was it, 15% more? I guess it somewhat depends on how the institutions are spreading. Slowly. That moment when your colonies are more advanced than the homeland. Doesn't happen very often. 